What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. And today, I got a special treat. Yes. I finished the project. I finished the project. You wanna see it? You wanna see it? I'll show it to you. Hold on. Let me, let me get this camera turned around for you. Can, can I turn it around? I can't turn it around. No, no, it ain't gonna let me turn it around. Boom! That, what, that meant, that's stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. I love it. I love it. It turned out good. Um, end up wrapping it. Turned out real good. Now, mind you, this is my first time fiberglassing, first time wrapping. I mean, you know, there's some imperfections there. Like, I got some creases there. Some creases there. But, first time for everything, right? You gotta start somewhere. And man, this turned out real good. All the controls still work. Everything still work. I gotta come back and clean this, though. I was gonna wrap it, but I think I'm just gonna take it back off and fine sand it and um, just put a, um, some kind of finish on it to kind of bring the shine back out. But here you go. 2006 Cadillac CTS iPad Pro 12.9 inch screen touch. Everything works. Oh, and I added two USB ports. Because, you know, Girls gotta have their phones charged up, you know. You ain't getting no cub without a charged phone, no. You gotta have a charged phone. You ain't got no power for the cub. You ain't gonna get no cub. It's just what it is. Anyway, all right, let me get back. Let me get the thing turned on. All right, so as you can see, we'll start with the basics just to show you everything still works. Dual air, everything functions like it should. Still got the heated seats on both sides. Um, turn the air on just so y'all can hear it. So everything still works on that. Turn it on. And here we go. So um, let's get uh, get some radio going. Now, uh, as far as the radio goes, I still have the original radio hooked up in the back um, for just in case, for whatever reason, you know, the iPad is being used for something else at the time, and I still want to have some music in my car. Um, I still have that capability, but I use the app instead because it just looks cool. It looks cool. So I have radio function with that. Um, it does. Um, I was playing earlier. See, this is a good thing about owning your own stuff. When you own your own stuff, you don't have to worry about no copy, copy uh, right strikes and all that. The buy. So I just um, put up one of my one of my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, so you can kind of listen. You can see the video working. Full functionality of it. Control the volume. Right off the steering wheel. Original everything. Other than this part. Everything is still original. I still have the original bowl system. I still have the original deck in the back. Um... I did have to break the, the deck down. So if this is a project you wanna try, you're gonna have to take that whole back piece out and pretty much break it all the way down, get rid of everything that you don't want, everything that you don't need. And then you're gonna pretty much sandwich the boards. Cause there's like four, there's like three or four boards plus the screen. If you have the DVD navigation system. So all I did was between each um, motherboard, I just put a piece of cardboard in between it. It's not the greatest, but it works. Um, I put a, you know, a cardboard between each motherboard, and then I just wrapped it in electrical tape, 
and 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 pretty much saying you'll see here in a second because i'm actually gonna take this out um and that's how you do it left everything all i bought to make all this work was um a a dongle for the ipad so it's pretty much an adapter and on the other side of the adapter it has an aux port and a charging port and then I bought a fast charging um, cigarette lighter charger. And what that allowed me to do was take um, the charging cable from the adapter, plug it into there. So now this car um, gives this power when it turns on. Now, originally, um, I used the cigarette lighter that actually came out of the, the, um, the ashtray at the bottom. But the problem with that is the ashtray is hardwired into 12 volts. So if you plug that cigarette lighter in, it's automatically running. I didn't want it to do that. I only want it to be powered when I turn the car on. So I ended up tapping in to um, the, some wires in the back. I can't exactly remember which one. Like I said, I was so focused on getting it all to work. Um, maybe I'll do another tutorial if you want me to, and I'll show you exactly what wires I tapped into. So that way, um, when the car is not on, there's no power running to that, um, the cigarette lighter. So I have that running there. And then the other side of that adapter was another USB port. And that's what I used to power this. Now I took this out of my desk. It's actually my studio desk. Um, but I'm I'm about to upgrade the studio desk. So I took that out of here or out of the desk and I just ran the cord underneath and plugged it into that other cigarette lighter. So now these two are powered. So you can, you know, both of them, both of them powered. I, I'm actually holding my phone right now, so I can't really show you that um, it charges, but it does work. You can see the light. So uh, to show you how this really works, um, let me show you how this works. So I'm going to have to set y'all up real quick. Give me two seconds. Okay, that's probably about the best way I can show you. So, when I'm done for the day or whatever, because I'm not leaving his iPad in my car. That's just crazy. Um, so when I'm done for the day, I just come in. Uh, let me, can you see it? You just push up. Get your finger under there and boom, pops right out. Pops right out. Now this is how it looks behind it. As you can see, fabric all the way around. There's my little docking station. It's not the greatest. Um, this is my first time. I think what I'm probably gonna end up doing is uh, getting some epoxy or something like that. And um, So that, that doesn't do any of that. But, I mean, I can slide it in. You'll see when I go to slide back in. It still docks with no no headache. Maybe a little bit of play if need be, but for the most part, it, it slides right back in. So, and then uh, down here, as you can see, is some remnants. But like I said, it's my first project. Um, don't judge me. Um, I'll probably come back and maybe lay some more fabric down there just to make that look neat. Because, I mean, that is some tacky. Bye. But it's my car, so... Uh, and this piece right here, um, is actually a piece that I cut out. I actually had an iPad case, you know, that I use when I travel. Well, trying to come up with some ideas. And if you watched my first video, I, I was trying to tell you, I was trying to come up with something that I can put to cover up. Cause there is a hole behind here and I'm about to show you that here in a minute, um, that I can put here so that when the iPad is not in the car, you know, it still looks professional it still looks you know clean um so what i ended up doing was i just ended up taking the the inside of the case i just cut the case and cut this piece out and um i'll show you it's just laying in there which i wanted to do um originally i was gonna uh glue it down but then i'm like no because i want to have access so there's that it's just a board you know a little piece of cardboard or whatever so that's that now then atrociousness <laughs> uh 
like I said, don't judge me. Um, I'm not too much worried about this back here anyway, because it's behind all the panels and most people, pretty much nobody's really going to see that. But here's the, uh, the original screen, the navigation, DVD, all that stuff. And behind this is, yeah, it's, it's some masking tape, but I didn't have nothing else. I couldn't really figure out how to really, you know, set it back up to where it doesn't move um so how it's set now is actually pretty good it's actually kind of remember the sandwich i was telling you about with the boards and all that well it's actually kind of if you look at it from the side it's actually gonna be leaning like this and then the screen is you know straight so that has actually kicked back so it's leaning on the back of the of the panel behind there and then i just put some mask and tape a lot of it <laughs> to uh help it stay in place but whatever you know it works um you wouldn't know that was back there if i didn't show you but you know that's what this video is all about to show you guys um how i actually made all this happen so uh check coolant level don't mind that um i'm actually i got some work to do i'm actually doing a time and well i just did a time and chain uh job on this car but i'm waiting on some more parts to come in so of course i'm not gonna have no coolant in the car down here I don't know if it can, the light, can I get in there? Okay, there we go. So you see the, the white adapter right there? That's that's the other piece, that's the end piece to this. So you can see the two cables coming off. One of them is the aux cable that's plugged into the back of the adapter or the back of the um, the stock deck. And then the other cable is, is the charging cable. And then the rest of that is just, you know, all the other cables and stuff like that so you're good on that so that's pretty much how that works now i like i said i do have the original radio if if i want to turn it on um but there's no need to do that because i have radio on my ipad now i i have internet on my ipad so no matter where i go i always got you know i always got internet on it so you just slide that in just like that now let me um let me show you how let me see if I can I'm gonna try to do it with one hand. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. I'm gonna try though. Let's see. First time for everything, right? That's what I said earlier. Let's see if I can make this happen. So you just slide up. Oh, let me show you that too. So there's the there's I don't know if the light's gonna let you see it. See where my finger is? That's just a look, that's that little slot where the iPad slides up in. So slide it in there and there's the um you see it's kind of like i said i gotta work with it some more but um let me see if i can get it to oh there you go and it done see so we are good on that um and like i said the two charging two charging comes off the the other part of the cigarette lighter um so all of this turns off and on um when the car is off so when i turn the car off um as you can see it powers down and that's it that is it that's how you install a 12.9 inch ipad pro in a cadillac cts 2003 to 2007 now this is a 2006 but anywhere from 03 to 07 with this type of body style um you can make this happen it took me about it took me about a week roughly because like i said i didn't really know how to um you know bond on stuff so i was learning you know all this stuff was a learning process but it's in there it's in there you can see um this spot right here it was actually laying flat i think what ended up happening was i didn't uh i didn't put enough uh spray adhesive so overnight it um kind of folded on me but that's okay i'm not worried about that um same here i was having a little bit of issue when i was actually um trying to wrap this corner for some reason it kept wanting to pull and i think pulling and unloose you know taking it back off i think that loosened up too but i mean that this this um 
it's pretty good and then here i don't know i might just leave that i mean it looks kind of tacky i don't know y'all let me know in the comments should i should i put something here to cover cover that part up or just leave that as is y'all let me know and then there's the on the side so there you have it there it is it's your boy doing what we do best out here uh yeah you have a dream it can be done if you have a thought it can be accomplished you just got to put in the work everybody's afraid to put in the work like kevin hart said everybody want to be famous but nobody want to put in the work oh speaking of uh i want to give a shout out to the guy who um matter of fact hold on i'm about to pull it up right now I'm about to pull it up right now. I want to give a shout out to the guy because this guy is the one who actually changed the whole game on how I was going to do this because I was about to spend a whole lot of money to make all this work. He saved me a lot of money, so I want to give a shout out to him. I just can't remember his name. I'm about to pull him up. Give me two seconds. I'll give a shout out to this guy right here. 619 Garage. Big shout out to you, my man. Um, for anybody that wants to do this in their car, watch this dude video. It he he breaks it down to, I mean, you can't go wrong. So just look up Cali CTS Ox install for 2003 to 2007. Like I said, that dude just saved me a whole lot of money because I was I was about to drop a whole lot of money on adapters and new amps and all this other stuff, and all it took was just the Ox cable, and it changed the game for me. So big shout out to him. Shout out to my boy Larry. He um. He kind of stepped me through some things, you know, he, he knows how to do body work and all that. So he, he kind of helped me out with that. So appreciate that, Lee. You guys smile. It's amazing. It's amazing what um what you can accomplish if you put your mind to it. I had no idea that this was going to turn out this way. Uh, I, like I said, you look at my first video, it started off with some cardboard, some super glue and some masking tape um, and in my imagination and, you know, with a week's worth of work, this, this is the end result. So I'm proud of myself. I'm, I'm happy. Um, I hope you guys actually like it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns about the project, feel free to hit me up. Um, I'll answer all of them the best way I can. And um, I just want to let you guys know that this is the first 03 to 07 Cadillac CTS with a 12.9 inch screen ipad pro at that uh with full functionalities off the stock deck off the stock bose amp off the stock bose system the car sounds good it looks good get at your boy we out here doing big things i holla at you it's your